What's up developers and problem solvers? Rod checking in. Wanted to bring you guys another video today. And we're going to talk about making money as a programmer. If you guys are struggling to make money as a programmer or you're just trying to get started, you have reached the right spot. So let's start with this guys. Listen closely here. Now I need your attention. Writing code alone will never make you money. Writing code alone will never make you money. And I know this may sound confusing for you guys, so let me explain. Guys, have you ever been on internet and searching Google as far as just how to make money programming or how to become a programmer or programmer making money or some variation of this search? And most of you guys probably saw some kind of ad to apply for a job or a contract work or Upwork or any job site and you clicked on this thing and they say, no experience, sign up now, you can uh, start making money programming. So um, you've been doing programming for a while, you had your coursework, you've been doing pretty good, you know about arrays, variables, loops, all this stuff. So you're going to give it a shot. Start making money coding. And um, you apply for the Upwork job and um, things go pretty good. You get through the, the screening process and um, you get accepted. Life is good. Well, day one, you get ready to start writing code and you figure out pretty quickly that they want me to do a project that I need to do some stuff before I start writing code. <laughs> now you're scared. Now you're trying to figure out what's the next step. I, I didn't, my professor didn't teach me this part of it. They just taught me how to write the code. They didn't teach me how to evaluate a problem, figure out what's the step to solve it, and then implement the code as is needed. They didn't show me all that. They just showed me the code writing. That's okay, because this is the reason why you can't make any money. You don't have the foresight to stop the pain of the employee. The employee have a problem, they have a pain point, and coding can solve that solution, but it's just not just writing code straight out. Guys, you gotta learn how to really put your code in a position so that it can relieve that pain, solve those problems, really put you in a position to win. I know a lot of you guys watch my content a lot, and you're like, Rod, right, you say the same thing, solving problems, solving problems, solving problems. Show me how to code and make money. Well, the truth of the matter is, guys, you don't necessarily code for money. You solve problems for money. You provide projects that's going to help them solve their problem for money. Once you get to that point, you are golden because what you do, you're an asset to the company. You're helping them save money. You're helping them retain their people. You're helping training workflow processes move forward faster, more efficient, automating things, and really kind of taking that company to the next level as far as just scale. If you're not doing this, guys, you're not going to make no money. You can learn all the programming languages in the world, study all up, uh, what are Udemy courses, YouTube courses, all that stuff. It's just going to be a waste of time and you will never get in a position so that you can make the money you want. So guys, I'm just going to give you three reasons why you're not going to program and you're probably never going to make any money, but just watch this video anyways. <laughs> but for the people who do take action and you're going to really put yourself in a position to win, but there's obviously there's more than three reasons or three ways you can make money online but what i'm gonna do for you guys i'm gonna give you guys free access to our seven step guide that's gonna also provide you additional ways to make money in seven easy steps links below into our career guide and also you get access to our interview questions and our community of like-minded developers so that they can show you guys how to make money in programming and share their experiences with you so links are in the description box it's free Go Go sign up for that. So, got past the plug. <laughs> Let's start with number one, guys. Like we were saying before, writing code is not going to solve your problems. Not going to make you any money. You're going to be a broke developer, just like a broke artist. What's the difference between a broke developer and a broke artist? The developer have a laptop in his hand. The artist have a pencil and pen in hand. Nobody ain't solving no problems, providing value to nobody, but there's breathing air. That's the huge difference. They need to take these tools that they got in their hand and provide value to somebody. That's the way you make money programming. You have to put your code to work and change the, that code, that, evolve that code to a project. A project allows you to really 
identify the steps you need to really be able to provide value to these people. It's so important that you guys do that and uh, really put yourself in a position to win. I remember when I signed up for my first Upwork job and uh, it was a pretty good job. Didn't pay any money, <laughs> but it was a good experience and it really woke me up to how to really make money programming because in Upwork, they lowball the out of you they lowball you really bad and they see you as a commodity and um, it's hard to differentiate yourself from the next programmer who's charging I don't know three dollars an hour two dollars an hour and look at you trying to charge fifty to a hundred dollars an hour and you may feel like man that's a lot of money nobody's making that well I charge 120 um, and a good day is like 175. That's when you really start to um, know the importance of your skill because people willing to pay that amount of money. Even more guys, I think the current rate now is probably like maybe 135 or something, or not oh, 235. The most I've charged is 175 hour. Typically, depending on who the client, if they're long term, we got some business together, I'll go maybe, I don't know, 120, 130 ish, somewhere in that that 130 120 area that seemed to be a good rate for my long-term clients if it's just a short-term project I'm going 175 at least 10 hours before we even talk but you guys are still competing with people who's charging two dollars an hour for programming work and this is not no cheap programmers that dealing with an outdated program this is c sharp java enterprise level programmers that you're competing against and you're wondering on upward how can you uh first of all compete with these people first of all get off of upwork once you get your experience yeah at the beginning when you're trying to get some experience trying to get some projects under your belt just to get some paid work at the beginning okay great, fine you, you don't get any pushback from me on that just limit the amount of time you're on there as long as you can get some quick easy wins on there get some experience build your confidence we're good to go so great but you're not going to stay on there because you're going to outgrow that platform pretty fast if you're a rock star developer guys so upwork is good at the beginning to get your feet wet to have something to pad your resume so that you can really get that next step that next job and really start to make money you do not want to be a commodity guys that's the main reason i like i tell people to get off of upwork upwork is only good if you at a certain range <laughs> once you start to get over that i would say 25 dollars an hour um uh, even probably less than that about i don't know 15 dollars an hour consistently definitely over 20. Uh, the fees is it, gonna start killing you guys it, it's just not conducive to a, a mid-level or senior level developer to be on there long term unless you really got some good contract good rates um I, i'm just letting you know from experience or you're gonna even if you own there and you get the money you want from that client they're going to i think their their rates are like 15 percent of whatever you make that's money that can go in your pocket if you guys make a a deal off out off of that platform once you build trust so you guys got to understand that so guys you will not make money programming if you on a site where you can't separate yourself from the competition you have to put yourself in a position to get those big projects done to really start to kind of put yourself in a position to be valuable if you don't take anything away from this video you take this the bigger the project impact the bigger the money you're gonna get the more money you're gonna make the bigger the project impact the more money you're gonna make if you're on upwork doing these little small tinky projects you're gonna get a small amount of work which at the beginning is okay even if you want to make some money a little extra money on side it's okay but you only have 24 hours in a day guys so you want to spend that time working on a big impact impact project so that you can get that big salary that big money guys so that's why i tell you guys to focus on the problem solving because nobody's teaching you this a lot of people overseas or in other countries they try to just write code like i was telling you programming is commodity but problem solving is it problem solving is very rare that somebody can really come into your business day one and start solving problems at a high level on that big of an impact if you get that skills the sky's the limit there's no ai in the world right now 
now that can duplicate what you you can do as a rock star developer. Yeah, AI is going to take over those lower end jobs, those commoditized jobs, they're going to eat them alive. <laughs> Wix, web designers, oh, they don't have a chance. But you guys, rock star developers, lead developers, you are going to win. So like I said, guys, I'm going to cut this video short. If you have additional questions, go ahead and comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know. Let's start a conversation in the description box, guys. If you haven't signed up for our seven step career guide to start making money you want, links are in the description box, guys. It's free. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Like, subscribe to the content. If you have additional questions, comment below. I'll see you guys in the DigiLink community. Peace.